Hello, and welcome to the Bible with Briscoe 2022. I am your messenger of the Word of God, Shenandoah Briscoe, and today we're going to be covering Isaiah 59 through 61 and 2 Theologians 3. Father, I just ask for clarity of voice and articulation and a smooth reading of your Word so that it may be a blessing to you and for all of those who have tuned in from all around the world. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. And they all said, Amen. Sin, Confession, and Redemption, Isaiah 59 Surely the arm of the Lord is not too short to save, nor his ear too dull to hear. But your inequities have separated you from your God. Your sins have hidden his face from you so that he will not hear. For your hands are stained with blood, your fingers with guilt, your lips have spoken falsely, and your tongue mutters wicked things. No one calls for justice, no one pleads a case for integrity. They rely on empty arguments, they utter lies, they conceive trouble and give birth to evil. They hatch the eggs of vipers and spin a spider's web. Whoever eats their eggs will die. And when one is broken, another is hatched. Their cobwebs are useless for clothing. They cannot cover themselves with what they make. Their deeds are evil deeds, and acts of violence are in their hands. Their feet rush into sin. They are swift to shed innocent blood. They pursue evil schemes. Acts of violence mark their ways. The way of peace they do not know. There is no justice in their paths. They have turned them into crooked roads. No one who walks along them will know peace. So justice is far from us, and righteousness does not reach us. We look for light, but all is darkness. For brightness, but we walk in deep shadows. Like a blind, we grope along the walls, feeling our way like people without eyes. At midday, we stumble as if it were twilight. Among the strong, we are like the dead. We all growl like bears. We mourn moanfully like doves. We look for justice, but find none, for deliverance, but it is far away. For our offenses are many in your sight, and our sins testify against us. Our offenses are ever with us, and we acknowledge our inequities, rebellion and treachery against the Lord, turning our backs on our God inciting revolt and oppression, uttering lies our hearts have conceived. So justice is driven back, and righteousness stands at a distance. Truth has stumbled in the streets. Honesty cannot enter. Truth is nowhere to be found, and whoever shuns evil becomes a prey. The Lord looked and was displeased that there was no justice. He saw that there was no one. He was appalled that there was no one to intervene. So his own arm achieved salvation for him, and his own righteousness sustained him. He put on righteousness as his breastplate, and the helmet of salvation on his head, he put on the garment of vengeance and wrapped himself in zeal as in a cloak. According to what they have done, so will he repay. Wrath to his enemies and retribution to his foes, he will repay the islands their due. From the west people will fear the name of the Lord, and from the rising of the sun they will revere his glory. For he will come like a pent-up flood that the breath of the Lord drives along. 
the Redeemer will come to Zion, to those in Jacob who repent of their sins, declares the Lord. As for me, this is my covenant with them, says the Lord. My spirit who is on you will not depart from you, and my words that I have put in your mouth will always be on your lips, on the lips of your children, and on the lips of their descendants, from this time on and forever, says the Lord. The Glory of Zion Isaiah 60 Arise, shine, for your light has come, and the glory of the Lord rises upon you. See, darkness covers the earth, the thick darkness is over the peoples, but the Lord rises upon you, and his glory appears over you. Nations will come to your light, and kings to the brightness of your dawn. Lift up your eyes and look about you. All assemble and come to you. Your sons come from afar, and your daughters are carried on the hip. Then you will look and be radiant. Your heart will throb and swell with joy. The wealth on the seas will be brought to you. You, uh, the riches of the nations, will come. Herds of camels will cover your land, young camels of Midia and Epha, and all from Sheba will come, bearing gold and incense, and proclaiming the praises of the Lord. All Keter's flocks will be gathered to you, the rams of Nebaoth will serve you. They will be accepted as offerings on my altar, and I will adorn my glorious temple. Who are these that fly along like clouds, like doves to their nests? Surely the islands look to the me in the lead of the ships of Cherash, bringing your children from afar with their silver and gold to the honor of the Lord your God, the Holy One of Israel, for He has endowed you with splendor. Foreigners will rebuild your walls, and their kings will serve you. Though in anger I struck you, in favor I will show you compassion. Your gates will always stand open. They will never be shut day or night, so that people may bring you the wealth of the nations. Their kings led in triumphal procession for the nation of or kingdom that will not serve you will perish. It will be utterly ruined. The glory of Lebanon will come to you, the juniper, the fir, the cypress, together to adorn my sanctuary. I will glorify the place for my feet. The children of your oppressors will come bowing before you. All who despise you will bow down at your feet and will call you the city of the Lord, Zion, the Holy One of Israel. Although you have been forsaken and hated with no one traveling through, I will make you the everlasting pride and the joy of all generations. You will drink the milk of nations and be nursed at royal breasts. Then you will know that I, the Lord, am your Savior, your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Jacob. Israel, instead of bronze, I will bring you gold and silver in place of iron. Instead of wood, I will bring you bronze and iron in place of stones. I will make peace your governor and well-being your ruler. No longer will violence be heard in your land, nor ruin or destruction within your borders, but you will call your walls salvation and your great gates praise. The sun will no longer be your light by day, nor will the brightness of the moon shine on you. For the Lord will be your everlasting light, 
and your God will be your glory. Your sun will never set again. Your moon will wane no more. The Lord will be your everlasting light, and your days of sorrow will end. Then all your people will be righteous, and they will possess the land forever. They are the shoot I have planted, the work of my hands for the display of my splendor. The least of you will become a thousand, the smallest a mighty nation. I am the Lord. It is my, in its time, I will do this swiftly. The year of the Lord's favor, Isaiah 61. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is on me because the Lord has anointed me to proclaim good news to the poor. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim freedom to the captives and release from darkness the prisoners, to proclaim the year of the Lord's favor and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all who mourn and provide for those who grieve in Zion, to bestow on them a crown of beauty instead of ashes, the oil of joy instead of mourning, and a garment of praise instead of the spirit of despair. They will be called oaks of righteousness, a planting of the Lord for the display of his splendor. They will rebuild the ancient ruins and restore the palace long devastated. They will renew the ruined city that have been devastated for generations. Strangers bush shepherd their flocks. Foreigners will work your fields and vineyards, and you will be called priests of the Lord. You will be named ministers of our God. You will feed our on the wealth of nations, and in their riches you will boast. Instead of your shame, you will receive a double portion, and instead of disgrace, you will rejoice in your inheritance, and so you will inherit a double portion in your land, and an everlasting joy will be yours. For I, the Lord, love justice. I hate robbery and wrongdoing. In my faithfulness I will reward my people and make an everlasting covenant with them. Their descendants will be known among the nations and their offspring among the peoples. All who see them will acknowledge that they are the people uh, the Lord has blessed. I delight greatly in the Lord for my soul rejoices in my God. For he has clothed me with garments of salvation and arrayed me in a robe of his righteousness. As a bridegroom adorns his head like a priest and as a bride adorns herself with her jewels. For as the soul makes the sprout come up, the garden causes seed to grow so the sovereign lord will make righteousness and praise spring up before all nations and that was isaiah 59 through 61 now we will be turn turning to second theologians 3 second theologians request for prayer second theologians 3 as for other matters brothers and sisters pray for us that the message of the Lord may spread rapidly and be heard and honored just as it was with you and pray that we may be delivered from wicked and evil people for not everyone has faith but the Lord is faithful and he will strengthen you and protect you from the evil one. We have confidence in the Lord that you are doing and will continue to do the things we command. 
May the Lord direct your hearts into God's love and Christ's perseverance. Warning against idleness. In the matter of the Lord Jesus Christ, we command you, brothers and sisters, to keep away from every believer who is idle and disruptive and does not live according to the teachings you received from us. For you yourselves know how you ought to follow our examples. We were not idle when we were with you, nor did we eat anyone's food without paying for it. On the contrary, we worked night and day, laboring and toiling, so that we would not be a burden to any of you. We did this not because we do not have the right to such help, but in order to offer ourselves as a model for you to imitate. For even when we were with you, we gave you this rule. The one who is unwilling to work shall not eat. We hear that some among you are idle and destructive. They are not busy. They are busy bodies. Such people we command and urge in the Lord Jesus Christ to settle down and earn the food they eat. And as for you, brothers and sisters, never tire, tire of doing what is good. Take special note to, of anyone who does not obey our instructions in this matter. Uh, do not associate with them in order that they may feel ashamed. Yet do not regard them as an enemy, but warm them as you would a fellow believer. Final greetings. Now may the Lord of peace himself give you peace at all times and in every way. The Lord be with you, all of you. I, Paul, write this greeting in my own hand, which is the distinguishing mark in all my letters. This is how I write. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. And that was Second Theologians 3, which concludes the Bible with Briscoe 2022 for today. Tomorrow we will be covering Isaiah 62 through 64. And first Timothy one. Father, I just uh, thank you for your word, because without your word, I would not be able to be your messenger of the word. I give you all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, Amen. And they all said, Amen. I'd like to thank you, folks, for tuning into the Bible with Briscoe 2022 for today. I, Shenandoah Briscoe, have enjoyed being your messenger of the Word of God, and as always, you know, God loves you, and so do I, so come back and see us again tomorrow, because, well, God will and will be here, and we hope that you are, too. Please like and share.